Winner is just around the corner as you get a look at Bill Stadium just south of Buffalo, New York. The folks in Buffalo love their Bills, and a moment ago, they entered to the delight of this sold-out crowd. They're set for football as their Bills will do battle. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line with the Pittsburgh Steelers. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. First carry of the game for Jalen Samuels. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. It's a gain of a quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. At the 32-yard line. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And hitting Juju on the slam. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 25 yards there on the catch and run. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> this is the end result. Big yardage afterwards. Got the speed, the agility, so good with run after catch. And we're only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. And what's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch, a lot of times he'll just run past you at the initial point of contact and he'll go deep. Nice methodical opening drive here. They're already into field goal range. They're in a good spot. You know that people like to take a shot in this part of the field. But at the same time, as methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit here, too. Yeah, just on the outskirts of the red zone, they have options now. Either way, though, they've come out with a purpose. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Two yards the loss, second and 12. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. On second and 12, Roethlisberger able to hit his target, Claypool. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. 12 yards is the pick up there. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. First carry for the 2018 Pro Bowler, James Conner. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Steelers. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now Roethlisberger. And that is incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Roethlisberger will hand to Connor. And again, this Buffalo defense there and run support to stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make it third and 13. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And the throw there going to be incomplete. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So on fourth down, the Steelers call on the number of Chris Boswell for the field goal try. yard attempt. Boswell's kick is good. And the Steelers will jump out to a three-zip lead. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, 
but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. carries into the end zone and Roberts choosing not to bring this one out here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 25 yard line Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. Singletary, the ball carrier. All right, Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Four at the 31-yard line. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Second and nine. Check, check it's a it's a it's a Allen going to give this one to Singletary. He takes this for three to the 29. Singletary, the ball carrier. T.J. Watt there on the tackle. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and six. And the Steelers now in the nickel here on third down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. He may try and run for this. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. That's something you have to be aware of as a defense and have to find a way to account for him. And if you're not going to use a spy, you're telling your guys to keep your eyes on him because when he breaks out and makes plays like that, all he does is hurt you. Have to at least be able to contain him somewhat. There they could not. And he's across the 40. Three extra yards to the 43. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brings up second and And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Second and five now. Allen, he's got the connection to Cole Beasley. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They'll run here with Singletary. 20, and he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Devin Singletary, 48 yards. And the Bills have taken the lead. Well, earlier in the week when they had their scouting report meeting, this was the explosiveness that they talked about trying to contain. They were concerned about it all week, yet he still did it to them. Wonder how that's going to carry over the rest of the game. The point after, no gimme in the snow, but it's up and good, and that makes it a 7-3 lead.
to the touchdown. Bass to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. The intended receiver there, the rookie Chase Claypool. But it's going to be second down. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. Second and 10 on a chilly, snowy December day. And I must say, I'm loving it. Kind of putting me in the holiday spirit. Charles, Charles hates it. And he's giving me the evil eye, folks. And once again, not much running room, if any at all. They're calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit, and that's what he did on that play. That's a third down conversion to 24 yards there. Nice play. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. From midfield now, here's Roethlisberger. Completion here to Claypool. Roethlisberger's pass. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. Now Roethlisberger getting this one into the hands of Smith-Schuster. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Eric Ebron, the big tight end, is intended target. And that'll bring up second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Again, it's Roethlisberger. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. The heavy set out there, three tight ends in the formation for third and three. They'll try and run for it with counter. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. They yet to run the ball at all on this drive, but third and short, definitely was a great time to dial one up. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Now Roethlisberger to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver that time. And now it's second down. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. His throw caught right around the six. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down.
Now it's Roethlisberger. Got his man. It's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Deontay Johnson on the other end of the throw from Ben Roethlisberger. And the Steelers are going to retake the lead. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Now, these are not going to be easy on a cold, snowy night, but this one is up and through. Makes the score Steelers 10, Bills 7. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And Roberts choosing not to bring this one out. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And after the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the win out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now the first carry for Zach Moss. And oh, his first carry, he loses the football. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now the pass finding its way into the hands of Eric Ebron. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. Ten seven, our score after one, right here on EA Sports. Ten, Bill seven. Line of scrimmage, the fifteen. It's first and ten. Roethlisberger. This will be caught at about the six, and he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. So not quite a first and goal just yet as they come up now second and inches. Now Ben going to give this one to Connor. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. Officially, it's no gain on the play, and they'll remain a few inches shy of a first with third down looming. You don't see that a ton, do you, or the cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle? That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. That's going to set him back five yards. starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. Now Roethlisberger. The Buffalo defense does its job, and it's fourth down. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down.
And for the second time tonight, his field goal unit comes out here. And Boswell's kick is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So a good kick there, and they put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that. But in the NFL, defenses are awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. Be able to knock the ball through the post and take the three. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. Not Either the, way. Not the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. Successful field goal try. Here's Boswell to send it away. Andre Roberts now to return it. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though? when they only gave up the field goal and they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive a little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown but they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession the coach will just be relieved though if they recoup with a score here right i think coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield punch in the end zone without turning it over they brought the blitz that time and i thought they were going to get to him but instead he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. On second down, here's a run with Moss. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Two yards, good enough for a first. We well, always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. A well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. Number 26, Devin Singletary. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you're scrambling a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? Allen's throw is complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. From the gun, it's Allen. He's got to complete to Stephon Diggs. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him even if he has an elite defender on him because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Brings up second. That's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver. But now it's third down. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And he's 
going to go down here as sack. They push him back to the 34. T.J. Watt causing the disruption. He gets the sack. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He's trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And that will cut the lead back down to three at 13 to 10. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. You want to hear? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. This taken in about four yards deep. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Pittsburgh set to take over again on offense. And after the field goal last time, see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. They weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down to the kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And the Steelers on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. From the gun, a give to Connor. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. A good carry and a first down by James Conner. And this Pittsburgh team is really hoping he's back in form because last year the entire Pittsburgh offense suffered without Ben Roethlisberger, quarterback. James Conner only 715 combined yards, but in 2018, he was a Pro Bowl running back. Combined yardage that year, 1,470. They're open for 2018 James Conner in 2020. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. 48-yard line. It's a Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. From just shy of midfield, Roethlisberger. Ebron caught left side. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. Well, the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. If you're getting points per reception, you got a reception, but yeah. no yardage. Great job by the defense, though. They, they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage, and people got credit for tackles. Pretty good deal. From the gun on third down, it's Roethlisberger. He's got a man open. It's Chase Claypool. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. That was awfully nice. Hit him in stride, and off he went. It was almost like the ball hitting him was like him receiving a baton, and he was running the anchor leg in a relay race. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. 
But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. And the lead will grow by one more. Makes the score Steelers 20, Bills 10. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Here's the all-pro returner from 2018, Andre Roberts. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Buffalo set to get the football back here. And it's tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? He'll try and run it, and he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. A good decision in the end to pull it and run, get some nine yards and a first. Offensively, they liked their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tuck it in run time, and he picks up a first down. Now flags will come in. One of the Bills got going a little early. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Full start, backs him up five, first and 15. Allen gonna throw, sliding out of the pocket. He's gonna take off with it. A nice job there on the escape and scramble, a first down, a 16-yard gain. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. And now they'll throw with Allen. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. I have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. To throw again. Allen and Beasley with it over the middle. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Allen looks to throw on third and one, and that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. He was covered. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short, no good, and this score will stay where it is.
Now, if this was a clear day in September, I'd say this is well within his range. I'd feel very confident about this kick, but let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five. So the long field goal misses, and now the reverse. You're in a tough spot defensively. They'll start to drive at the 43. Running to start to drive is Samuels. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker, was the one disrupting there defensively. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. Roethlisberger. He sets to fire deep. This is caught inside the 15. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Three first half touchdown passes now for Ben Roethlisberger. And the Steelers are going to add on to their lead. Extra point now by Boswell. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. Steelers 27, Bills 10. Chris Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Roberts on the return. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Bills ready to take over. And the last time that they were on the field, a little demoralizing. Missed field goal. You don't always feel like you want to get it in the end zone, but then, oh, well, at least we're going to get three. Didn't go through the goalpost, so. It does test the mental processes of a team, though, doesn't it? Because when you miss a field goal, it's amazing how fast they want to turn on the guy kicking the ball. But you need to keep his confidence up because how many times have we seen games where it comes down to the stretch? And guess what? You need that guy to make the big kick for your team to move on or to win a game. Make sure you keep him happy. Make sure you keep him comfortable. I'm sure you always treated the kicker nicely, though, right? You know, truthfully, I did. Good. I always did because those guys... They won us a whole lot of games. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory. And that's when they look their chops in order to get the big hit or a play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. He was trying to get that one out to his running back out of the backfield, but that one was red and timed perfectly, and they were able to break it up. On fourth down, on is Corey Bohorquez to punt. a punt of 42, seven on the return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? 
Well, he said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well, and he's been right. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Only needing two yards on second down. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Able to hit his target, Claypool. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Roethlisberger. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. Well, maybe that can give him a little bit of a pick-me-up, a little bit of a jolt. One of the few things has gone right defensively. Because other than that, it's really been a first half to forget. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Looking sideline incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. And that takes us from second to third down. Had an open man that time. They end up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. It's a gain of eight, but it brings up fourth down. Jordan On fourth Barry down, here comes the Steeler punter Jordan Berry to kick it away. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach takes this about five yards deep. And Roberts choosing not to bring this one out. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Throwing on first down is Allen. A quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Brings up second and one at the 34-yard line. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. And his throw here's incomplete. By the way, I got to apologize, because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Just enough to get the first down there with a one-yard pickup. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. First down, they stay with Moss on the ground. It's Big Vince Williams who made the tackle. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. From the 38, Allen. Short throw hauled in by Croft. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. 
Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Singletary here running out of the gun. And he'll get this one across midfield and down into Steeler territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Cole Beasley, the intended target. And it's third down. And that one off the mark behind him. Incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun, Allen. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A first down and then some. Give him 29 yards. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. Right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. And the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. What I enjoyed most about watching Devin Singletary as a rookie, and he had a nice campaign, 775 yards on the ground and a rushing average in the top five in the league last year, is that what I saw in college transferred to the NFL. Continued to make the first tackler miss, whether he was in the hole or on the perimeter. I expect him to get to 1,000 yards rushing this season. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Aaron Donald's the name most people think about in the defensive tackle position, but an all-pro last year alongside him, Cameron Hayward. An absolute nightmare to try and block, and he gets into the backfield on that play and finishes it off with a loss. On second and goal, Allen. And it's a Bills touchdown. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. It's good. Makes the score Steelers 27. Bills 17. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. From the six. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Time for the Steelers offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. This now a 10-point game, so things tightening a little bit after that last score. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. Off the play fake, he'll set up to throw it. Rush coming, and he's taken down. The sack there by Trent Murphy. Well, partner, we know they came out of locker room down on the scoreboard. That will guarantee you the defensive side of the ball got super emotional. They can come out and play with aggressiveness, with fury, because they don't have to be quite as precise. And it paid off for them on that play, didn't it? Sure did. Excellent play, really setting the tone for this third quarter. Another try after the first down sack. Roethlisberger. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Intercepted. 
The Bills take over first and 10. They will run with Singletary. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. Number 26. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Up second and seven. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. On play action, Allen. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, Allen. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. And his bid for the first down coming up short as he's tackled at the 25. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. A 42-yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces them to settle for three. And it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. This is what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. through the field goal. Here's Bass to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. At their own 27-yard line. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. Now a pass that's taken in by Smith-Schuster. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. And he connects with Ebron. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. And the Steeler. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. For Chase Claypool, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw their verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. And is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. And the all-pro corner, Tredavious White, picks it off. And they will set up shop at their own 
46-yard line. Well, they definitely figured out something defensively at halftime, Charles. That's now two. Allen hit. He lost the football. Ben Roethlisberger is sacked. Fortunate to get that football back. His trailing here in the second half. Last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. So they keep the ball, but work to do on second and long. From the gun, it's Allen. He's going to go deep for Beasley. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and long. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. He was covered by Steve Had to pass there, third and long on your own side of the field. Just couldn't come up with anything. That's why teams always talk about having to win the early downs, meaning you've got to gain yardage and set yourself up for third and short because when it's third and long, the odds go down significantly trying to pick up the first down, even throwing the football. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. Pittsburgh set to take over again on offense. At their own 18-yard line. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Out routes are always timing routes. And if the timing's off just a little bit, it can really throw off a play. It looked like he led him a little too much there. Yeah, there was a fraction of a second because he caught it, just couldn't stay in bounds. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 15 yards on the play, first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On first and 10 is Connor. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Roethlisberger going to get that to Ebron. Give him seven on the play, and that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Trying to get the first with Samuels. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. I'm getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. Here's Jordan Berry now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. And the Bills getting set to go. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. And a short pickup there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. 
He's brought down at the 20 yard line. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Yeah. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time, separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. He can run for it, and he will. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. I like this effort there. He got it done on his own. But let's face it, he puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rallying, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. And Bojorquez on to punt as he gets it away. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. And a six-yard gain gets them right around the 43. Ball carrier for Pittsburgh. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. It's rare that a receiver of his caliber would drop one pass, but that's now two times he's had his mitts on one and lost it. Yeah, and I don't think that they're going to lose confidence in him, though, because of the track record. Such a good player, maybe having a bad game, but I think they'll still go to him in a critical spot. From the gun on third down, it's Raffelsberger. And that is incomplete. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them, because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Here's Jordan Berry now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Here now, Roberts. So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, the defense got its job done, forcing the punt. Now the formula pretty simple. They need to find the end zone here. A field goal doesn't help them much. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Out of the gun, he'll throw. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. Bud Dupree able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Now they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. <laughs> Operating from the gun, Allen. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Complete to Cole Beasley. A gain of eight brings up third and 12. The Bills on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This is third down and 12. From the gun, Allen. Flush to his right. He may try and run for this. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. The Bills send the punter out as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. A 
41-yard punt there with no return. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. The Steelers' offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. The all-pro quarter, Tredavious Wright picks it off. And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. Good. That ties the game at 27. for a better game thus far. 27 apiece is our score as the kick's away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. They will look to flush the memory of that pick six as we now have a brand new tie ball game here in the fourth quarter. Getting down to the good stuff. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Back to the air, Roethlisberger after the pick six. And he's got his man, the tight end, McDonald. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Three yards the gain there, second down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. They go draw play. This is Samuels. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. Taken down. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. On the counter, it's Connor. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. Second and five now. Roethlisberger, completion here to Claypool. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 42. 12 yards there and a first down. Pittsburgh. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Play fake to Connor. Now Roethlisberger. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 46. Trent Murphy, his second sack of the night. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sack. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Johnson, the intended target. Third down here. 
And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. The Steelers on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This will be third and forever. And that is incomplete. You could tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Here's Jordan Berry now, as he's on to punt for Pittsburgh. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Back onto the field now comes the Bills' offense. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity, all tied in the fourth quarter. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Operating from the gun, Allen. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Call it a gain of five, and it'll make it second down. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now this one complete on the slam route. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. It's a first down on a gain of 10. A partner of a tie game in the fourth quarter. You and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Allen now looks to throw. And his throw is incomplete. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver. And it results in an incomplete pass. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Throwing again, Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. I don't know whether I want to be a fly on the wall or not when they hear the explanation of how he, one of the bigger targets on the field, the tight end could be that wide open and uncovered downfield. Who blew that assignment? Somebody did. No doubt about it. There's no way you're not going to account for him. Now left side on the swing pass. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. And he's going to be swallowed up, sacked back at the 45-yard line. T.J. Watt able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Well, nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they will get this across midfield, but still well short of the first as he's dropped at the 46. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. Now the Steelers' offense gets ready to get back onto the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep it cumulative. 
Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Off the edge, Jerry Hughes gets the sack. Impressive individual effort there. No one was going to stop him around the edge. Yeah, no doubt about it. And that's why if you play in a 4-3 base and you're a defensive end, that's why you get the big bucks. They count on you to do everything. Defend the run, and of course, get to the quarterback. Throwing on second and long. Roethlisberger throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. James Conner, the running back, his intended receiver, and it's third down. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And that will be incomplete. The defense did their job. Fourth quarter, big stand. No doubt about it because the offense has been yelling at him from the sideline. Just do us a favor. Get us the ball back. Give us one more chance to take it downfield. The defense just did them a solid, it appears. And when they get the ball back, they can kind of play free tie game. They're not behind. Here's Jordan Berry now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Shows his strength at the 50. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Bills are going to take over in great position here for the first and 10. And now out come the Bills. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. They'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave them with second and a yard. And that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he'll get this pretty close to a first down as he's tackled at the Steelers' 29. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. First and 10 at the 29-yard line. First down, they stick with Singletary. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. He was Stephon Tuitt, the one that got him down. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Ball at the 26, second and seven. On the ground, it's Singletary. And yeah, not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Third down, here's a run by Moss. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now a run with Moss. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Second and 11 now. Now 
Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Now the Steelers going to use their third and final timeout as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. Singletary again. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They look to run with Singletary. And that's a touchdown as they broke our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. I don't know how many more of these my heart can take, my man. I just don't know. Another big touchdown late in the game. They look like they're in control, but still, there's a chance. Block the extra point, go down and score, kick the extra point themselves. They can pull this one out. Yeah, but also on the sideline that just took the lead, you got to get your defense ready and the special teams unit for the kickoff coming up. Yeah, you're exactly right. Got to pull everyone together, make sure they're still focused and aren't already celebrating a win. Taken in at the three. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. So Big Ben and the Steelers now. Down by seven, 24 seconds to go. They've surrendered a double-digit lead but can rescue themselves late as they come up on first down. Here's Roethlisberger. Ebron with it over the middle. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Steelers. Charles, this one's going to be hard to digest. You take the lead into the fourth quarter, lose that lead. Maybe they felt like they let this one slip away a little bit. They will definitely feel like that because when you have a lead in the fourth quarter, all you talk about doing is finishing and closing a game out. But when you flip it over, how about that? Making the comeback and then finishing the game, sealing it on defense, they will feel jubilant in their locker room. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night from Buffalo.